It was a big week at the North Carolina General Assembly, y'all. Lots of bills on the move. But the big headline is Medicaid expansion. We are so excited to see Representative Donnie Lambeth file the House's Medicaid expansion bill. And y'all, all indicators point to a full vote in the House as soon as next week. But here's our rundown on, of bills most pertinent to children at the legislature this week. So we saw House Bill 76, access to health care options. Representative Donnie Lambeth of my home county, might I add, Forsyth, led a bipartisan group of House members in filing H-76 earlier this week. The bill would expand Medicaid eligibility for adults up to 133% of the federal poverty level. 90% of the cost of covering the expansion population would be paid by the federal government, with the remaining 10% coming from hospital assessments. This bill also has a workforce development component, including career development training, job placement, recruiting services, and more. The bill does not include any of the health care reform elements that we saw last session. On the child safety front, we saw Senate Bill 20, Safe Surrender Infants, make rapid progress in the Senate. It includes language that addresses confidentiality, immunity, and duties of those in temporary custody of the surrendered infant. This bill is a priority of the Child Fatality Task Force, and it successfully passed the Senate Thursday and is now headed to the House. We also saw House Bill 72, Firearm Safe Storage Awareness Initiative, which seeks to create a statewide safe storage program for firearms in order to prevent children from getting access to unsecured guns. This legislation is also a priority of the Child Fatality Task Force and was filed by a group of House Republicans led by Representative Carson Smith of Onslow and Pender Counties. H-72 was referred to the House Judiciary 2 Committee and its companion bill in the Senate is Senate Bill 67. Speaking of firearms, we saw House Bill 56. This legislation would provide tax exemptions for gun owners who purchase safe storage mechanisms for their firearms. This bill passed the House Judiciary 2 Committee Wednesday morning and has now been assigned to the House Finance Committee. Additional bills of interest that we're tracking. Senate Bill 74, Parents and Students Bill of Rights. This bill is sponsored by a group of Senate Democrats, but led by Senator Sidney Batch of Wake County. The first half of the bill seeks greater access to school-related information for parents. The second half of the bill lays out the rights of a student while at school. These include the right to a safe and non-discriminatory learning environment, due process, fully resourced classrooms, and adequate access to and encouragement to use mental health and substance abuse services in educational settings and to be given resources to other outside mental health and substance abuse services. The bill has been assigned to the Senate Rules and Operations Committee. And y'all remember, you can check our live bill tracker anytime to get updates on these bills and many other bills that we're monitoring. It's on our website and it will be linked in the legislative update email. Thank you so much for what you do for kids and families. It all matters and it all is the reason why we do what we do. So with that being said, happy Friday and make it a great one, y'all.